Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we got the Terra Symbol and the Ice Flu, and in this episode we're going to be going for another one of the seven treasures. This time we're going to be going to the World Abyss, one that we actually recently uh, unlocked, and we're going for it next because it's basically the next tier of difficulty. Uh, this one's going to be 30 floors, so we're going to be a little bit more... Uh, prepared for this journey. You can see I have quite a few items. I'm even bringing these because I feel like these will be, uh, since we pretty much go all in when we go to dungeons anyway, and I feel like we're in a safe spot to where we shouldn't need to uh, worry about dying, I think we're good with bringing that. You'll see I'm also bringing the mobile scarf because you can possibly find things hidden in the walls in this dungeon. So off to... So we have, we've done Shimmer Desert and Mount Avalanche. Bottomless Sea is 50 floors, don't want to take that on yet. Giant Volcano is a fire type dungeon, I'd rather not take that on right now. Then we have Mystery Jungle, Serenity River, a couple of other ones, but the World Abyss is what we'll be taking on in this episode. Definitely going to be the hardest dungeon we've taken on, on thus far. So uh, I'm excited to see how this goes. I'm also considering, also, I swapped out uh, Leaf Blade for Night Slash because I believe Night Slash should be a little bit more useful in this dungeon uh, if we don't have, like, if we can't deal with something with a Grass-type attack. So uh, hopefully that's useful. I need to also... I'll set Energy Ball. Okay, there we go. So then we'll be using that whenever we need it. Um, I want to make sure they're on the, sa on the right... No, 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 no. On the right moves and stuff. Uh, all of your moves are good. Uh, I want you to use all your moves, not just Rock Slide, so that's good. Um, I also want to check their IQ. No, not check their IQ. Uh, check their tactics. Yeah, because I want to switch them to Let's Go Together. We find a lot of bosses, so it's something you have to pay attention to. Let's get started. So the World Abyss is actually a, a bit of an odd dungeon in the fact that all the... Pokemon that can be found here are actually um, all found also in the Concealed Cave, which we haven't actually gone through yet. Wow. So the drop eye seat actually only lets you see uh, as if you were walking in a hallway in a dark area. I'm not going to bother with the gravel rock. Don't really need that. I also want to make sure... Go ahead and set these just so we can start throwing them. And... Um... I'm gonna take the friend bow. Actually, no, I was holding that, wasn't I? I'm gonna give the friend bow to Sceptile, and I'm gonna give the special band to Glaceon. Uh, Trapinch has a couple of mixed moves, so he won't benefit as much, but all of Glaceon moves right now, I believe, are special except for Ice Shard. Well, and Bite, never mind. Oh, this is another dungeon where the music changes every floor. The Pokemon don't seem to be too much of a threat. Then again, we are still on the early floors, so. That's yet to be seen. I almost kind of wish I still had Grass Knot, based on the fact that uh, it has so much PP, it can be useful. I did bring a couple of Max Elixirs because I figured we're probably going to have trouble. Jeez, we're finding so many Pokemon on this dungeon. I was going to say we're probably going to have trouble like keeping all of our uh, PP up, but it's going to be a lot worse than I was thinking if we find Pokemon like we have been. Also, I'm like getting literally rich, so. 375, wow, good dungeon. Uh, okay, that did 28 damage. Uh, I'm gonna punch you, even though it's not very effective. See, like this is a situation where like Night Slash is a good move because uh, he's not going to be prepared for that. Weezing's pretty much uh, will resist all of our moves except for it. And flying types too, actually. Now that I think about it, dark type's a good, uh, good counter to that. Um, can't really think of any other type that would be good. I was thinking ground, but no. That would be get good against poison, but other than that, like, we still wouldn't be able to hit flying types with uh, strong damage. Racket Band, Orin Berry. Interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna... Ugh, I don't really want to keep the Racket Band uh, here. Why don't you eat this? Oh, that's a wheezing. Okay, I'm just gonna keep shooting this. I don't care. I kind of, it seems like Glaceon won't actually use Blizzard in rooms full of enemies, which is a shame because uh, sometimes it would be useful. But she just doesn't seem to want to use it. 
She'll only use it if she's right next to a Pokemon. See, she'll Ice Beam from a distance, but she won't Blizzard. And that really sucks. Like, I'd rather be able to use her in the situation that we have a Monster House, but she just won't use it. So that's a problem. Also, someone pointed out that Vibrava is actually also a female. So, huh, who'd have thunk it? Also want to say that at this point, Vibrava can probably hold his own in fights. A Pidgey? Wow, big damage. Oh, come on. I was about to say, it only speeds up your partners. Oh, that's rude. Oh, no. Are they going to get another attack? Okay, Nidoqueen is at least watching, but now they're going to get another move because they used Tailwind again. Yo, Pidgey, biggest threat in the game. Yeesh, get out of here. Yeah, you can go straight to me, can't you? Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, get right on out of here. Yeah, I figure, like, we usually don't even need Leaf Blade, because at this point, Giga Drain is so strong since we boosted its power. So it's like, we might as well just use Giga Drain. Ooh, Umbreon. So Umbreon's actually a Pokemon that we can barely recruit, and if we can, I'd love to do that. No. No such luck. The Pokemon here are recruitable. I'm just not getting any of them. Oddly enough. Ooh, crit. See, Energy Ball even, like, one-shots, even when it's resisted at this point. Do we really need Leaf Blade? as a main main way of dealing damage, to be honest. Also, why are there so many Doom Seeds in these later dungeons? I'm already out of uh, PP. Okay. I always find it hard to find a way to say PP because it's weird. It's just a weird word. I love this music. This is also, ooh. Okay, I saw the grass coming in. I should have been suspicious. Uh, of course, we do have, uh, ooh, I wanted to use that Calcium on uh, Vibrava. Gotta remember that. Yeah, Fossil Orb, not even gonna bother. Wait, what? Did that work on that Poochiana? They're sealed, right? Oh, they're only sealed temporarily, aren't they? See, now Glaceon just outright will not use Blizzard. Even if I set it to only use Blizzard, maybe it will, if I do that. Uh, I'm gonna take a step into the danger and move inwards. Yeah, some of them aren't paused anymore. Now let's see if Glaceon will actually attack in this situation. Oh yeah, the Poochiennas had improved speed. That's why they're going faster. Let's knock them out. Oh, of course they want to be friends. I'm fairly certain we already have a Poochiena. There you go. Now she'll use Blizzard. Yeah, it seems like she only uses it in the in lieu of like a normal like one-spot attack. Also, I want to point out that there's actually a type of move that covers a certain area that we haven't covered yet. Uh, moves like Thunderbolt, I think Overheat, uh, will affect all the tiles around you. Oh, she's always going to step back because she misses that. Okay. Um, so basically, like, normally, you know, there's the room-clearing ones. There's ones that go until they hit a wall. Okay, now you can stop using that. And uh, there's ones that only hit the spot in front of you. Uh, Thunderbolt, say, if there was a Pokemon behind. I keep pressing that. Say if there was a Pokemon behind you, well, you could look away from it and use Thunderbolt and still hit it. So it's one of those interesting moves that still have a have an interesting spot. And for that reason, I was still thinking about using Jolteon because Thunderbolt could be really neat. But I don't actually think we have a Thunderbolt TM. Uh, oh no, this is bad. Oh my god, this is big damage. I'm going to get knocked out. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, actually... I think I should be able to full heal with a Giga Drain. Look at that. 100 HP. Cool. Got out of that without any too many scuffs. Uh, we have a Grass Gummy. I'm going to save that for when we go to the... Well, thanks for that. Several food items. Great. Probably all of my apples that we use, that we need. Ugh, we only have one apple left. Yeah, 30 floor dungeon. Uh, apples are important, to be honest. That's going to suck. Oh, man, he can even take a hit. There's no wonder tiles here. Ooh. Oh. Did she actually go through the wall there? Huh, interesting. I don't I don't know how that ice beam hit. I don't know how their locations were. Because Weezing didn't attack, so he wasn't right next to Vibrava. I don't know, dude. Whatever. We're not going to find this. Uh, I'm just going to pop. Because, like, I'm not dealing with this. Oh, look at that. We were nowhere close. Never gonna find that. 
Sometimes it's just not worth it. I almost want to fight them just because they're easy picks. And like... The, uh, the experience is needed, definitely. Because uh, Vibrava is only five levels off of a level up. Also, that reminds me, I don't remember... Oh, I shouldn't have used that. That was our last one. I don't remember if we ever got our Joy Seed from uh, getting a perfect high score in, uh, in the guard post, sentry post thing. So uh, if I haven't, that might actually be worth going back for. I want to see Vibrava use some attacks. He doesn't really get many opportunities to. Oh, okay. Wow. Just knocked himself out. Didn't even get the experience for that, which sucks because Weezing is probably going to give us the best experience out of any of the Pokemon here. Uh, I'm going to go off it. Go ahead and heal off of you. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Now that's weird because I feel like Voltorb is immediately going to get knocked out by that, by that Nido Queen behind him. But I also don't have a Voltorb. I'm not going to risk it because I don't want to use a Reviver Seed on that. Here, take a Night Slash. Crit. Boom. Easy. See? Night Slash is... Oh my god. Night Slash is still strong. Um, I might just fear them all. Oh, I don't have any fear orbs, do I? Oh, no. I thought I brought them. Oh, that's tough. Okay. You know the deal. Set it to only Blizzard. I don't even think she'll use it, like, through walls, which sucks. Uh, do I have a quick seed? I should have a quick seed, shouldn't I? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give that to Glaceon. So she can... Hmm. Gotta take a few hits. She could take a step forward and then use Blizzard. Oh, no! Oh, that's gonna suck. Never mind. There goes our advantage. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That damage is huge! Oh my goodness. This is bad. This is bad. I am so tempted to use an escape orb right now. Man, this is also why I like, I want to play as Glaceon myself. Look, we've lost any advantage we have here. Uh, do I have a warp seed? I don't think I ha I do. I have no way to warp out. And also, because I have a roll call orb. Oh, really? I have nothing for this situation. I find that really hard to believe. I, uh, should I, I think I should just use the escape orb and call it like quits. Cause this is such, this, there's no way. There's no way. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not gonna deal with it. We have to play as Glaceon. Um. Or else there's no way we're dealing with all of these. Glaceon just outright will not use Blizzard no matter what. So, uh, that really sucks for a partner. Like, I was thinking once we get Hail on Glaceon, I definitely want to play as her so she doesn't just waste Hails all over the place. But, uh, mm. like right now, I'd like to play as Sceptile a little bit while we have a chance, but uh, if Glaceon's going to be that bad with her moveset, then I, I kind of have to play as her. Yeesh. In fact, you know what? I should stock back up because we're gonna not, we're already at a disadvantage here. Okay, we're back on floor 10. This should be where we left off. Um, of course, I am playing as Glaceon, which should put us in a much better position than we were before. Please recruit. No. Uh, I did actually, funnily enough, have the chance to recruit a Glaceon when we went to uh, Mount Avalanche, which kind of sucked. Uh, I Obviously, I would have done it if I didn't already have a Glaceon, but I don't want to really have any repeats because I believe the cap for recruitment in this game is like 500 something, when the amount of Pokemon is like five, is 430, I want to say. I don't really remember how many there were in fourth gen. Uh, I do know it was in the 400s though, so. Yeah, there's definitely enough space for you know, recruiting every single Pokemon in the game, but, uh, ooh, but, uh, you definitely have to be frugal with your odd choices. Uh, I have a lot of bites. I should probably start using that more. Bite is really a useless move. I need to get something else on Glaceon here. 
another special move because I do want to make her special specialized even though we have Ice Shard. Ice Shard is just a very convenient move that has like range so it's pretty much useful in almost any situation. So it's kind of a bit like oh you would have quick attack, aqua jet, stuff like that. Ooh that's a Voltorb and it's weak. Oh great and it's weak immediately inflicted with para paralysis. I swear, if you if you skip a room in this game, it's the one room that has the stairs. Like, look at this. This is why I always do my sweeping motion when going through areas. Oh, that sucks. Yikes. Um, because, like, it's always going to be the one room you skipped. Uh, I guess there's gonna be quite a few rooms in this area. But, like, the one path I skipped, you know? Oh, I am out of ice shards, that's fine. We still have plenty of blizzards and ice shard and uh, ice beams, for that matter. Yeah, ooh, you know what? I'm just gonna like not deal with this. I have blizzards, I might as well use them. Like, look at this. Also, like, blizzard is supposedly like 64% accurate. I don't see it. Ooh, doe seed, I'll gladly eat that. Um, who's up behind us? You need to leave. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh yeah, he has Levitate. I was like, uh, you could have just used a ground type move. Look at this team actually working together for once. Oh, well, there goes all my blizzards. Uh, I'm gonna actually eat, mm, I'm afraid that Vibrava's gonna step on that spot, but I'm going to ignore it. And we're just gonna go, I still haven't used that darn calcium. You know what? Eat, get your special attack. Uh, Y'all can deal with that Murkrow. It's not gonna be a problem, uh, Doe Seed. Wait, hold on, info, just make sure, because it said lowers level. One mistake you'll be happy to make, okay, yep, eat. Should give us more money in the next level. Uh, Murkrow, Honchkrow does exist in 4th gen, so if you want Murkrow, that wouldn't be a bad choice. Love this music. There's times when I can just get this music stuck in my head for hours at a time. Ooh, a Swalo recruit, now that's not bad. What is he, level 40, 44? He'd be in fighting form already. Hold on, I'm just curious. Like, show me the stuff. Uh, he has guts, which is pretty great. Um, let's see. What moves do you have? Aerial Ace, Wing Attack, Quick Attack, and Double Team. Pretty much what I expect. That's a pretty strong Pokemon. I'm gonna send it home anyway, because like, don't wanna deal with four Pokemon. That's just a lot to deal with. But uh, wouldn't be the worst choice ever. Oh, I'm just gonna keep biting you. If you're just gonna keep flinching. Sweet. Uh, I should use a Max Elixir soon. Because I don't want to be caught in an, a situation where... We have, like, say, a monster house and I have to use a Max Elixir first. Ooh! Wow, I wish I was playing as Vibrava sometimes. Uh, eventually, once Vibrava does evolve, I think we're going to start going on outings alone with him. Maybe with, like, a legendary Pokemon or something to show them off. Because, obviously... Uh, once we do go to, I believe it's called Mount Lava, we're not bringing Glaceon and Sceptile, obviously. That's not something that's going to be plausible. Uh, so, I would like to eventually show off some other legendaries that we've recruited thus far. And at the end of this dungeon actually has one of the more interesting ones in my opinion. So if we get a chance to show off the boss of this dungeon specifically, I would not be opposed to that. That's scary, that can one-shot us easily. Charge is such a good move in this game. If you have an electric type starter, that's not Pikachu because he doesn't learn it. Um, you should definitely learn charge and like utilize it. It can easily like double. I think it doubles the power of an electric type move for the next turn. Uh, it's perfect for combining, for linking, I was trying to say. Cool. Luckily it didn't warp us. Let's move on. I just didn't want to possibly deal with not having any hunger. Or any negative effect with that. Oh, of course you're going to... You know what? You want to play like that? Fine. I'm not even going to waste my time with you. Leave. Sit down. Uh, I should be going slowly. Just in case there's any threats that want to knock me out. Oh, this floor is not looking very friendly. There's going to be a lot of rooms to check out. Racket band again. That's like the most useless band. Oh, thanks for that. That just makes me frail. Uh, I'll just bite you. Vibrava can knock you out. Ooh, the cringe. Hashtag cringe, am I right? Look at that big damage from that Dragon Pulse. 
Like, that's powerful. Vibrava is definitely a force to be reckoned with at this point. Once we get a Flygon, like, oof. Scary. Why did it get to counterattack? Is it IQ skill? Oh, that's not nice. Please leave me alone. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna go slowly, and if we see another Pokemon, oh well, I'll use an Ornberry. Ay! Hi there. Great. Gotta go a little slower, apparently. That's big damage for a pound. Yeesh. Oh yeah, this is where it starts looking a little trippy. Great. I love this. This is a motif we have not... Motif is not the word I wanted to say there. This is an environment that we definitely have not seen yet. Skateboard, that's good, because I haven't brought one yet. Uh, Electrode have a lot of experience. I'm going to actually fight this one. It's good remembering what Pokemon give you ex a big amount of experience and which ones don't, so you can selectively choose if you want to fight something that you don't have to. Uh, that'll be especially important. Ooh, Exploud. Now that's a Pokemon that I want to take advantage of, and hopefully does not have I Hyper Beam. Really? <sighs> he stepped right into an Ice Fang. Great. Uh, 615. Once again, a lot of experience that I want to take advantage of. Mm, I want it. Uh, that's, I was going to say, going to be really useful once you start doing the Zero Isles, where you start from, like, level 1 when you enter the dungeon. So, like, you're going to want to remember if there's any Pokemon that you want to keep a specific eye out for to level you up real quickly early on. That's going to be, like, a whole situation, those dungeons. I don't think I've seen any Let's Plays that actually take them on, like, fully. Most of them just mention them like, hey, they're there, but they don't have any legendaries, so whatever. So, uh, I'm excited to take them on. There's plenty of guides on the internet for them, so... You should be able to find those easy enough. And most of them are like, hey, use Smoochum. But, uh, you know, it'll be interesting showing it. Because I don't think that's a... Why do you have to do this? Mm. Get out of here. Also, I just want to remind people that, uh... Here. That, uh, using a Reviver Seed does refill my... My PP, pee -pee, so... That's why we're... Ugh, this is scary. He could easily knock me out. Oh, the the godly freeze. Okay, I'm gonna pop an Ornberry, actually, because I'd rather not go down. Oh, you're going to attack through that, aren't you? Okay, fine. Blizzard. Just because Ice Beam would actually hit off of x Bloud and not do anything. I hate that you can't do any damage. Like, what's the point of freezing? I, it allows you to position yourself, but other than that, it's completely useless because they get to attack right after they get unfrozen. And it kind of sucks. Alright, um, we're getting there. Definitely getting there. Take this. Man, Bite really is useless. I was thinking there was going to be a lot more ghost types in this dungeon, to be honest. I should have looked at... I, I usually do look at a list of what Pokemon we'll be able to find. Uh, as far as this dungeon goes, all I know is that it's pretty much the exact same as Concealed Ruins. Or Concealed Cave, I forget, whatever it's called. Two-thirds of the way there. Oh my goodness. You know, yo, half the Pokemon in here are weak to Ice-type. Yo, take this. Uh, and a lot of our teammates should be able to take out anyone who's nearby as well with Energy Ball. And I think Dragon Pulse, actually. I don't know if Dragon Pulse is a ranged move or not. I should check that. Ooh, watch the experience we're about to get from this. This is going to be crazy. We haven't missed yet. This is what I mean. Like, this is not 64% accuracy. 3,500, that's insane. Wow. And just like that, the entire room, gone. Vibrava leveling up again. Only three more levels. All right, let's see what. Black gummy. Uh, I'm gonna eat the sky gummy then. We're running low on hunger anyway, so might as well. Cool. Also, the room's filling up again. This would be a great spot for grinding, to be honest, because uh, I could just like hide in the corner and any Pokemon that come in just use Blizzard. If, you are, if you're able to find a room like this somewhere outside, why is it counterattacking? Stop that. Uh, that's a Swelo. All right, that's down. Cool. Take that money. Um, Take an Ice Beam. Thank you very much. Wow, pretty much everything gives good experience now. I'm not even going to bother with these boxes. You know what? Eat it. What are these? 
Yeah, knocked them both out. That is easy grinding right there. Wow, that was a nice room. You see how nice it is to have a room clearing move? I can't wait for fly or well, it is going to be a Flygon, uh, for Flygon to learn Earthquake, because I, I really do doubt we're going to find it naturally, like as a TM, so that's pretty much our only hope for getting it. Get knocked out. Wow, how much money do we have? We found 5,000 in this one adventure. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I guess that's probably counting both of our forays into this area. Mighty Inna are pretty weak, aren't they? Uh, they can take a hit. Take a bite. Look at that. There's literally, like, I'm just using Bite just to use it at this point. Ooh. I don't want you to give Vibrava any problems up there. Give him an easy knockout. Make him feel good. Definitely need to get rid of Giga Drain eventually. Uh, bye. Yeah, we're getting late enough into the dungeon where I feel safe just using moves, because, like, we're not short on Max Elixirs. All oh, this sucks. You know what? Eh. I'd rather use a Pure Seed when I really need to. And plus, this room's really nice for just cheesing out a blizzard and getting a lot of experience from it. Boom. Simple as that. Man, so many items that I wish I could pick up, but I really can't. There's, I've, I must have, like, useless items in here, actually. Like, don't I have a, a couple of plain seeds? Go ahead and eat those. No reason to deal with that. Also, goodbye. Don't need to deal with it. I just, I'm afraid of that charge that Electrode has, especially it can also just explode, and I don't like that. Um, another Plain Seed. Sometimes, just visually, I mix up Plain Seeds and Pure Seeds, so I have to be really careful about that when I'm just choosing to eat them casually. Take that. I feel like Nidoqueen would be a pretty good recruit if we could get her. But uh, as, it is, as, it, as it's been, we haven't been recruiting too many Pokemon. You know what, I, now, now that I think about it, it's probably because Sceptile's holding the friend bow and I'm not. Didn't think about that, uh, here. Good to use that whenever I can, uh, here. Before we move on, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Although it is really good coupled with, uh, coupled with Blizzard, I'm gonna take the special band and give it to Sceptile and give the friend bow to myself. Just in case there's any last-second recruits we can get in here. Like, geez, maybe, maybe a Weezing. I know most of the Pokemon in here actually have a negative 12 recruitment rate, so this friend bow would actually make it possible to recruit a lot of them. Like a Pidgeotto? That'd be awesome. Nidoqueen? Amazing. Pretty much any normal Pokemon doesn't have a recruitment rate under 20%, so... Ooh, mmm. I'm really afraid of Exploud. It's a strong Pokemon. Yeesh, okay. Keep on moving. Nothing in there. Once again, like I said, the one room you skip is gonna be the one with the stairs, so gotta be careful about it. Cool. Moving on. Only a few more floors to go. Uh, okay, that's really mean of you. I'm just gonna <laughs> throw this out there and hopefully Sceptile uses an energy ball on her. Or we could just knock her out outright. Um, you're gonna get destroyed with all of us here, so whatever. Look at that, Giga Drain, big damage. Cool. It's kind of good that most of our Pokemon, ooh. Most of our team resists ground because Earthquake and Earth Power are two very common moves in some of these later dungeons. Really? This boy had an Orenberry? Get out of here. Kind of wish there was a HP sucking ice move. That'd be, well, that'd be overpowered. Well, no it wouldn't because ice type is kind of, eh, it's pretty good defensively actually. It would be a really good move. Uh, give those ice types the bulk they finally need. Oh, come on. I'll just use Ice Shard. Come on, Umbreon Recruit. Let's go. Boom. Nothing. Nothing. It'd be really cool if I could just recruit all the Eeveelusions and then use them. I'm gonna actually just go ahead and use that. No reason to skip it. Neato. Uh, a lot of the time, what I would do in Super Mystery Dungeon now is I would just... Ooh! Since uh, you basically, like, naturally recruit all the Eeveelusions throughout the story, it's not hard at all. Uh, I just kind of recruit all of them. And then take them all on a journey together. Look at that! Electrode! He has a negative recruitment rate. Level 46. Just curious, once again, I know you have static. 
uh, and soundproof. Wow, that's not bad. But that, of, of course, means he can't use Uproar. Um, Gyro Ball, Swift, Magnet Rise, Charge Beam. That's not bad. Charge Beam is a very strong move in this game. Uh, go home. Goodbye. Just getting some good Pokemon is not, isn't bad at all. Electrode's one we could just take into like, well, I was gonna say we could take him into a water dungeon, but like as it is right now, we have a pretty strong, t I should not have taken that step. He can knock me out. Swalo is fragile, Never mind. Um, We have a pretty good team for water types anyway. I guess Glaceon's not the best since her moves are resisted by water and she doesn't resist water herself, but eh, who cares? I'm gonna have to use a Max Elixir soon. For sure. Uh, we definitely... It's a good idea to stock those for any dungeon that's like past 20 floors, I'd say. Even if it's at 20 floors, I'd still say it's pretty needed. Um, oh, I used PP Saver on that last Ice Beam. Cool. Aerial Ace is nothing. Get out of here. Not a single room. Mm, okay, I'm gonna use an Ice Beam and hopefully Sceptile follows up. No such luck. Uh, has he actually used all of his energy balls? Because I feel like that's what's happening here. Yeah, he has. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna use... Oh, I am about to die. I realize that also applied to endgame, but I meant my 3DS is about to die. Um... Go ahead and pop a max elixir. I don't think I've noticed a spot. Well, I haven't noticed. I don't think we've seen a spot where we could have. Heal seed, revisor seed. Ooh, no thanks. Um, actually, you know what? You can actually throw a revisor seed at an enemy to make them faint outright. Just so you know, if you eat a revisor seed, no matter what, it knocks you out. Oh come on! You gotta stop that, dude. That is dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna... here. I'm gonna get on the stairs and, like, heal. Yeah, okay, see ya. Proceed. I just wanted to get as much HP as I could from that. Oh my goodness, really? Okay. Ah, uh, Blizzard. No reason to deal with this. Miss. Got the Pidgeotto, at least. And I took a step back from missing. That's actually good. I don't want to risk, like, getting knocked out. Also, for some reason, Sceptile has a, a, like, just always uses Night Slash on an Umbreon. I don't know why. I'm going to eat this, if no one minds. Uh, hip. I keep trying to... I wish it would replace the pick up option with eat, since we can't pick it up. Since, like, I don't know. Just, just... They figure you're going to have muscle memory with pick up, so I guess it makes sense. That's a weird layout right up there. Um, but whatever. Okay. Keep moving on through. Ooh, money. All right. Two more floors. I don't know if the 30th floor is actually the boss floor or if it's an actual floor. Yet to be seen. I shouldn't have taken that step forward right there. I thought I was holding Y, but I was not. Assurance is so strong. Why is it so strong? What's its effect? I don't remember it at all. Oh, lordy. Please don't knock out Vibra- And there he goes. Neat. We're actually running low on, uh, on Reviver Seeds, I think. I mean, not like, we obviously we have like 20 in storage, so I only brought like seven out here. Only seven, I say, jeez. Oh, just keep using Earth Power, dude. I'm gonna take a step back. Sceptile resists it, and I'd rather him take the damage if he has to. There we go, knocked him out. Look at that, Vibrava taking care of threats on his own. Slip Seed. No oh, thanks. Although that Ornberry wouldn't be terrible. Go ahead and throw out a Blizzard. Why not? Cool. And knock you out. Oh, please don't use the Ornberry. Neat. Um, swap that with... We should have another Plain Seed. Yeah. Don't need it. Do want to be meticulous like that. Normally I wouldn't give it the thought of the day, but... You know, playing it careful and stuff. Oh boy, Ice Shard. Great, my signature attack. Lots of money. Uh, uh, no. I'm not gonna deal with that. Don't use Sand Tomb, whatever you do. Cool. I'm gonna let y'all deal with that. Oh, no, I'm not. 
No, I'm not. Man, I hate Needle Queen. Get out of here. It's so dangerous with Earth Power. The later we get in the game, the more you're going to see moves like that. All right, so now we're in the pit. The World Abyss Pit. Who's the boss of this area, do you think? It's your boy, Giratina. Seekers of the Seven Treasures, I am Giratina, the Guardian of the World Abyss. If it is the treasure that you seek, conquer the silence of darkness. I challenge you to surpass your limits. Demonstrate your power to me. Now it begins. So I think it is worth saying, uh, Bulbapedia lists its recruitment rate at 8.3%. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm gonna just use some ice beams and knock this boy out easy. Um, Sceptile, I'm gonna set your moves to Night Slash only. It's one of the reasons why I replaced it with Night Slash and Vibrava. Uh, you can use Dragon Pulse, actually. You have a super effective move. We are all set for this boy. Giratina, I don't know what it is. I still think he's one of the best designed Pokemon in the series, like easily. He looks amazing, and in this game, if you actually take him to any sky-specific- Oh, that's scary. If you take him to a sky-specific dungeon, of course he got it off of the second one, and knocked Vibrava out in one hit. Yeesh. Um. Um. <laughs> Uh-oh. Septile's not in the best spot right here. Um, I almost want to heal him, because he's un no doubt he's going to get knocked out by this, isn't he? I'll, I'll give him an Orin Berry just in case. I don't know if he's going to survive this otherwise. Because it's a strong attack. Yeah, Dragon Pulse only hits the spot in front. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's about the damage I was expecting. Um, Ice Beam, fun fact, is stronger than Blizzard. So there's no real reason for me to use Blizzard here. Is he? That's right. He increased his defense. Boom. Knocked him out. Please tell me we got that recruit. Ugh, I hope so. We do have the friend bow equipped, so hopefully it helped. Anyway, this gives us a rock horn, which funnily enough does not affect ghost or dragon types. So Giratina's, I don't know why Giratina had it. No, no recruit. Oh Lordy. So I'm definitely gonna have to go back for that sometime. I'm not gonna show off the entire dungeon again, but I do wanna recruit him. Giratina is such a cool Pokemon. It feels like it would be a waste to just not use him ever. Especially since he goes into origin form and Sky Dungeons, and I didn't get that out earlier. Anyway, that's going to be this episode for uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. This is kind of how the format's going to be for a while. Basically one huge, long, difficult dungeon, and uh, that's the episode. So don't be surprised if you see some more of that. Also, I think we have an egg. I owe that to you. Oh yeah, everyone's still talking about how we saved the world if we haven't talked to them yet. So let's check this egg. It's close to hatching, could it? Will it? Huh? What? The egg hatched into an almondite. Okay, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> this, this feels kind of scummy. You know what? Never mind. We actually have an Oma star, not an omanite, so we might as well take it. If I really am going to go for that 100 completion run someday down the line, might as well get a good start, kickoff. Um, my thoughts on that are like basically once I do beat the game, like I already have like what? Probably somewhere around 80 to 100 recruits. Uh, if I ever wanted to play this game on my own downtime, I might just try to build up that 100% recruit rate and eventually recruit all the Pokemon in the game uh, if I am going to this extent in the game. So, uh, you know, interesting concept. Also, something I wanna do. In between episodes, I'm gonna start taking on some of these mazes with Vibrava just to level them up a bit more and because uh, I do want that joy seed that you actually get for completing all the mazes. And it's, it'd be nice to show off. So I'll see you all in the next episode when we take on another one of these missions. I don't know what, but it'll be something. See you all then, and goodbye.